through the prophet Jeremiah. He says, take care of the city, for in the city is your welfare. A new church development in the community of Homewood, Pennsylvania, just outside Pittsburgh, embraced this as their mission, a mission for the House of Manna. Whether in a community building or out on the streets, Pastor Eugene Blackwell and others had a vision for sharing Christ's word. You say everyday people, you know, the drug dealer, the doctor, the prostitute, the professional, the lawmaker, the lawbreaker, the homemaker, you know, the homeless, and this is a Presbyterian thing. When God gave us this vision, he didn't say this was a vision that you take and you move, you leave a denomination. He said, I have you in this denomination. My spirit is within this denomination. And the entire denomination is going to be able to grasp this movement that you all are doing. This new way of doing worship and celebration and reaching out to the less fortunate. In this troubled and often violent community, the House of Manna is evangelizing and creating disciples in the name of Jesus Christ. The General Assembly Mission Council and Pittsburgh Presbytery are partners in this work. And as we look, you know, Jesus said, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will never thirst or hunger. So it's like, wow, like God provided them the manna. He gives us the manna in Jesus Christ, and we have the Holy Spirit. And we started thinking, like, the people who don't know Christ or who barely know God, how do they receive their manna? So we have to transfer our, our lives and bring that spirit, give the word, give the truth, and be Christ-like to the people in the community. So we said the house of manna, the house of where people can receive God physically and spiritually. The house of manna began its mission on April 12th with a peace walk through Homewood. First of all, the prayer for peace went way beyond my wildest dreams. My vision was to have, you know, each church have 10 people maybe come out and pray, and then God showed up and he showed off and hundreds of people came out. And the house is just beginning to reach out, to love and accept people where they are. There was a young man tonight who simply just said, I want to say a word, and he was so, I, he really wanted to say a word. And, and at the end of the day, he said, God kept me, God is good, everybody stand to your feet. And then he gave up the mic. I met Bird, I met him outside cussing me out, asking me why I was in this community. But two weeks later, he started coming to the church. Now he wears the house of manage. Kind of what we were led to do was to actually call people in, ask them to commit themselves to Jesus Christ, and then give sponsors to them. So they, you know, form discipleship, small discipleship groups of two or three. I'm looking forward to a lot, of, a lot of growth and a lot of changes in this community because the Spirit of God is working here and it can't be stopped. It can't be stopped. Presbyterian denomination was where we were supposed to be. I thank the Presbyterian Church for helping us make this happen. And I pray that the Spirit moves this Presbytery even further and closer in relationship with Jesus Christ. House of Man.